before I get into this, let's just go over my lineup. So I take Angval out, and Nylander, he's obviously scratched in this because he was on protocol. So I put Nylander in, and then I stick with this forward group. Um, I'm, I'm not a one-timer guy in this, really. Uh, so basically, uh, my lineups look like this. I go Matthews, Marner, and Hyman. I have Tavares with Felino and Nylander. Nylander playing the right, Felino on the left. Thornton centers Simmons and Kerfoot. Simmons on the right, Kerfoot on the left. And then the fourth line, Spets in the middle, Galchenyuk on the left, and Mikheyev on the right, because he can play both. Defense, though, I do go for the one-timers on the second and third pairing. Riley and Brody, they stay the same. Um, special teams, I like to change it up. I want to stack that top one. So I got Tavares in there. I get Nylander back in there. Um, usually I will swap Marner and Matthews because I like the Matthews one-timer. And then Marner, I'll put him on lefty, Riley on righty, Nylander on the left side. And uh, for the second unit, um, I change it up. Usually I have Thornton in the middle there, Hyman. Um, and then I've been going with Felino lately, taking the one-timer spot on the other side. So I do go for one-timers on the power play. Uh, Four-man power play, obviously I just try to get Nylander in there as well. Because um, he was scratched, wasn't he? And uh, I think I also so occasionally switch out and get Felino in the lineup as well. Um, as we carry forward, uh, for my penalty kill, um, I put Felino in there so I can get a better centerman because you do have Marner and Hyman together in the, like the default settings, uh, but neither are a center. So I'll get Felino in there. So I either have Kerfoot centering Marner, for example, Felino, Hyman, or whatever. Um, either way, I have Felino centering one of them and Kerfoot centering the other. Um, Three on three, I put Nylander back in there. Goaltending, you got to switch out Hutchinson, get Freddie in there, make him the starter. Uh, I keep Campbell there because I'm just too lazy to, to switch Riddick. Uh, Riddick in there, even though he is an 82 overall, so two overall better than Campbell. That doesn't impact me at all, really. Um, shootout, I will just switch out McCabe and put in Nylander. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. So we're basically just going to play some highlights um, all the way through. Sit back, relax. Now, hopefully this doesn't get, you know, flagged or anything like that, because obviously the commentary and stuff is going to be in there. But um, you'll get my, my live reaction, obviously. This is through Twitch. Uh, I'm, I'm a rookie in all this, so this is uh, more like an, a, just an attempt to see how it goes. Um, it's a bit grainy at times, obviously a little bit delay with Twitch and my mic and everything, but why not give it a go and uh, see what happens. So I've got some highlights from my last couple games. It's mainly just the goals that I've scored. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and if you stay on till the end, I think the final nine minutes or so, I play a game with my son in my arms the whole time, and... Uh, yeah, who can say they can win a game with a seven-week-old son? Let's get right into it, shall we? Hell yeah.
having more trouble against a guy who cannot play. Three in a row here. The Leafs have been 
explosion. Moose decides. There we are anyway. There's my little man, all dressed up in his British kit. Look at those little arms go, he's ready. Uh, he's just a bit tired, so I figured why not? He likes to watch the game. I think he likes, you know, just the movement on the screen. You can only see black and white still, but it doesn't matter, it works out. So he's on my lap the whole time. Uh, I've tried this before and uh, I got the win, but I didn't record it, so why not? I uh, tried here. My wife was in the background watching, giggling a bit, and it wasn't the best start. Uh, of course, we take a penalty. Yes, I'm going to say we. We did this together. Obviously, at times, that dummy falls out and soother falls out of his mouth, so you got to adjust. He's in this game with me. Uh, so we're shorthanded right away. Um, but yeah, you know what? It, it, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I don't get to play as much now that I'm a dad. However, when I do get to play, uh, it'll be usually when he's asleep. Um, most of the time, he's in his little, whatever, baby Bjorn bouncer, and I'm just bouncing him. Uh, I'll tell you, my calf muscles in my right leg anyway are, are getting are getting there because of it. Um, but in this case, he did not want to be uh, in his little seat. He wanted to be in daddy's lap. So why not try a, try a game of NHL? This was basically just a, a precursor we're waiting for his uh, feeding time. He was he was getting close, um, getting a little bit antsy, but uh, we had to wait for his bottle to to cool down. And I was hoping this would be a quick game. Um, if I needed to pass him off to my wife, I would have. 
Uh, but I didn't need to. He was content this whole game, and he's an absolute star. Not only has he been, you know, watching uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs games with me, and basically I just talk at him, tell him how I feel about the Leafs. Uh, most of my Leafs reaction videos are me talking to my son and just recording it at the same time. Um, but yeah, he, he, he enjoys... Uh, he enjoys it and if he doesn't well he's seven weeks old so he can't tell me um but man he's a strong little guy already uh can hold his neck up he can roll kind of on his side his tummy time's going great and uh yeah he's a least fan he's got his least kit and everything all made up big fan i hope he become becomes a least fan and stays a least fan it would suck if he uh chose a team like the Bruins or the Habs. Oh, we were close there. Uh, just rung it off the bar. Not bad. Not too bad. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a big fan of this Leafs team, especially, you know, in NHL 21, obviously. Like, they are stacked. But also, um, in real life, like, what kind of team can go into the playoffs and they're going to have to sit what Adam Brooks or uh, Alex Galchenyuk also how is Adam Brooks not in this game he might be but why is he so low he needs to be up there I say Galchenyuk should be in the 80s now Brooks should at least be a 79 the way he's been playing um oh what a shot there by Zach Bogosian uh, I'm waiting for Sandine to come back up here as well he should be higher up because he's been playing lights out but yeah back to it like the Leafs like they've got seven really capable D for the playoffs. So one of Sandy and Bogosian or Dermot's gonna be out. Lily Green can fill in whenever he wants. You got Harper, Ben Harper in there if need be. I don't think he sees much time. But then on the offensive side, Hyman comes back. What do you do? Do you, like in this, I have Adam Brooks out, but like, do you take out Brooks? Do you take out Galchenyuk? Last game, what, Brooks and Galchenyuk both scored. Spets and Thornton and Brooks are playing amazing. I'm looking at it and I think it might end up being Simmons. Because just imagine Hyman, McKay, and Perfect together. Like that line was phenom like phenomenal beforehand. I could see them being phenomenal in the playoffs. And then you can throw Simmons in there if you need. You take out Brooks because he's younger and you have the bets in there and you just make an old man line for the fourth line. And you throw Spetsa at center, Thornton on the left, and you got uh, uh, um, Simmons on the right. I don't know. Oh, there's another good goal right there by Willie Nylander. Uh, honestly, this team's great. At first, I didn't like the reverse retros, I, but I think they changed it. It was like the arms were too gray, um, but it lightened up a bit, and oh, they still look good. Uh, my wife ended up getting me one of these for Christmas this year. But being all the way in the Middle East, uh, it's still just sitting in Canada at my parents' house. <laughs> Uh, hopefully get that soon, especially for the playoff run. Uh, get to wear that, because obviously the Leafs have already clinched. And, and it looks like they're going to play the Habs. But actually the way it's going, it could be the Jets. Ooh, that was a nice save there by Vasilevsky. I also really like these Tampa jerseys. Um, you know, it reminds me when, like, Le Cavalle was in there. And Bratton and stuff. Um, I loved those jerseys. And I'm glad they, they went with them. Uh, this guy actually played it pretty well uh, this game. He had a nice block shot there and stuff. Obviously, I was a bit distracted with the little man as well. Um, wasn't the most comfortable, uh, basically holding him his weight. And I had like the one arm longer than the other trying to play. But you do what you do, you know, you do what you can. Um, Honestly, uh, I know there's been a lot of complaints about NHL and NHL 21 and being boring and all these glitches and stuff, which, yeah, you know what, it's frustrating. But I'm, I just enjoy it. I think it's a grand old time. I don't play the stuff where you, you spend a lot of money. So I don't play, you know, uh, Hockey Ultimate Team or anything like that. Or, you know, what do people say, like the grind where they're playing 20, 40 games over the weekend, like cut champions and all that other stuff. Um, online versus works for me. You know, you pick an NHL team, you play with a team that you see on the ice and you just go from there. I, I enjoy that more. Um, I think the games are 
fairer. That's a better way to put it. Like, you're not playing. Like, if I was going to play a hockey ultimate team, obviously my team would be full of, what, 70s and 80s players. Um, and I would end up having to go up against people who have, I'm guessing, 95s, 99s, and all that. Like, good on them. You know, they, they worked hard for it or they paid a shit ton of money for it. But for me, you know, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather just chill, sit in my chair, play some NHL, play as the team I support, and and just have fun from there. And that's that's what it's been so far, and it's worked out actually. Um, I think I'm in or close to the top 50 in online versus for Xbox anyway. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. Probably because not many people play it, but um, I've I've really enjoyed it. And I'll probably keep enjoying it. I know the game doesn't change too much, but um, I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of hockey, and I'll keep playing it. And we'll see until the, I don't know, eyesight and everything goes. Until I can trade off, let my son take over. So the first game, first hockey game he's going to play, it's going to be NHL 94, and it's not going to be on the Xbox. Oh, there's another goal. It'll definitely be on the Super Nintendo. Um, still have NHL 94. I think I have 94 all the way to 98 on the Super Nintendo. Uh, 94 is my go-to. 96, um, when he gets a little bit better with it, because there are like little water bugs out there in NHL 96. It's such a faster game. Uh, but obviously, I got to teach him the classic, you know, uh, go from the right side all the way across the net to the left side, pop that in there. It's basically similar, similar to how they do it in NHL 21, where you pull the puck back let the goalie go off the post and throw it over the glove. You know, NHL 94 started it, um, the cross crease pass, it's always been there. So people complaining about it and the lack of defense, to be fair, defense is better in NHL 94. Um, the AI is better in my opinion. Um, but it's been there the whole time, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, yeah, as you see, we won the game. Baby Ren and I, we won, and it was an absolute blast. Can't go wrong. Still enjoying NHL. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some more videos and more of me just chatting utter rubbish uh, with Ren in my arms. Look at us celebrating. Can't go wrong. Anyway, that's it for me. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you've dropped by this, if you want, check out my Leafs reactions. I react after every game. Thanks again. Look at that. Top 50. Go Leafs go.